So I'm just going to show, originally on your drawing we had two locations. So this is the field log of the master one. And if you like, this would be location one. And this would be location two. Now what we can see, we've got a few simple breakers here. One for each of the field loggers. You can see the, uh, the AC supply going in there. And there. And then what I've done is put in a uh, separate 24 volt power supply just because we've got a number of um, obviously temperature transmitters. There is um, a built in 24 volts on here, um, but I'm sort of choosing not to use that at the moment for fear of overloading it, if, if nothing else. Um, and then the 24 volts just going up to a few fuses here, just to sort of try and protect um, the various different circuits. Um, the other thing that's worth pointing out is obviously the RS485. So here, this, this field log is going to be the master, so it's number one on the network. And then it comes here to this device, uh, which is another analog input, because essentially we've got up to eight on each field logger, eight of these, which is the temperature sensor. Um, because of the numbers, obviously we've had to add these in as well. So these will accept another two channels. Um, so we've got 10 there potentially and 10 there I'm just going to show you the way this one's wired because we've got one one of these transmitters here you can see dead simple um, we've got a plus and a minus and that's taking the 4 to 20 milliamp back here and this is just a um, distribution block um, so all of your 8 or 10 could come in here and get their 24 volt supply and it's just fed from a fuse up here off the power supply. And then if you look at the field logger itself, so we've got our red lead from the um, transmitter coming back to pick up 24 and, and the black lead is coming into number one on the field logger, terminal one. So for each sensor, you're only going to be occupying on each channel two terminals. So the next one would be two here. And the other thing we've got obviously is our zero volt. Now that, at the moment, we've got one connected. Going up to here, back to zero volts. Oh, where's my finger? Um, but yeah, once they're all connected, you would have that loop to cross. So you'd then be zero volts into that one, zero volts into that one, and so on. And then the same process really for connection of the, um, of the transmitter. Um, so yeah, the, We'll go back to the serial network. So that's device number one on the network. Number two. Number three. Number four. And you can see again the RS485. And then number five on the network is this one, which is the outdoor one. And it's just purely data is going back to the master over here. And at the minute, I've got it set for um, humidity and temperature. Um, so yeah, you can see it requires a power supply, 24 volts, which again, off one of the fuses up here, and the RS485 then. And all the um, all the data network is, is starts here, and then we're looping off here, into here, into here, oh, and then it ends here. We can go through the software um, separately, but at the minute, all the devices on the network are talking. Um, we're reading this one, obviously, which is the only one we've got connected at the moment. And I'm getting um, I'm getting data back here, which is just temperature and humidity at the minute. But there are a few other things it can do, um, frost, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it for now.